Hi, John Valvano here, and I'm going to step through the process for Lab 6. I'm going to begin by finding the uh, library files for the DAC and the op amp. So I'm just going to pick one of these. Okay. The next, I'm going to go to one of the two sites that were recommended for finding parts. Uh, this is the one on Mauser. And so I created an account at this ms.componentsearchengine.com. Uh, I've logged in. I'm in the United States. I'm going to paste in the part number. Okay. Now, uh, if you can't find a part number, then you have my permission to try a little bit different one. I don't care as long as you don't use the same one as your lab partner. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to get the ECAD model. Okay. For uh, for this part, and you can double check it is a eight pin. Uh, a one channel rail to rail DAC. Okay, so I'm going to click this. Uh, since I've logged in, it doesn't cost any money, but I can now I'm going to download uh, a zip file. Okay, so I download a zip file and I save it. Uh, now I've actually already saved it, so I got two copies of it. All right, so that so then I go to my downloads folder here, and okay, the one I was looking for was a was uh yeah uh, ad8300 uh, there it is right there and so i'm gonna extract this file because as you uh, will see it's got uh library files for many different um many different uh design programs okay so we have eagle so i'm going to open up eagle and now you can see there's one library file. This is an Eagle library file for this part. Okay, so I'm going to open up the place where I put the 445L, uh, where I put the 445L library. See right here is the 445L library. And I'm just going to put this guy in the same spot. Okay, move. Okay, move. Go back to my search space. Uh, I search for the op amp here. Um, and then there's two choices here. This one looks a little bit closer to what I want, so I'll click it. Uh, and again, download the file, save it. Go back to my um, downloads folder. And again, I'm looking for the um, 823 op amp. I'm looking for the 823 op amp. 823 op amp. I extract it. And again, I don't need it all. I just need the Eagle one, okay? And again, I'm going to move it to my, to the spot that, um, where I put my, my Eagle library. All right. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is open up Eagle and import these two libraries. Okay. And it's, it's it'll be easy. Okay, in order to attach those libraries to Eagle, I need to know the full uh, pathway to the file, to the folder that has the libraries in it. So I do a copy here. And then I go over to Eagle and I go to my uh, directories. And in the libraries directory, this is where you have all of your libraries that you're going to use. And somewhere in here, I'm just going to paste it, okay? The library directory that I'm using for 445L. Now, you've probably already done this, but again, open it up here. Now I can see in this particular folder that I just added, I can see the libraries, the regular 445L library and the two that I just imported. So I'm going to click them to make them active. Okay, I'm going to click right there on the box on this circle here to make it um, active. Okay, so all three of those are now active okay? and available for use in this um, in this class. Now, all right, so the next step is to, I've got the uh, lab six board file and schematic file here. I'm going to open them in Eagle. Okay? I am going to open them up in Eagle. Okay, so over here, I will open up a schematic file. Again, as long as the two files are in the same 
a folder with the same name, it'll link the two. Okay, so I put them here in downloads and here. So I'm going to open up the Lab 6 schematic. Okay, and I'm going to connect up the DAC to port D. So I'm going to scroll in here and add the part. Okay, I'm going to add the two parts that we just imported. Okay, um, okay. and so I, the first one I'll put in is the DAC, right? So that's the DAC I just imported, and I will place it there. I only want one, so I hit Escape, and then go over here, grab the op amp, uh, insert it over there. All right. So what I just showed you is how to get two new um, two devices. If you look over in the board view, you can see the two devices I just added. Down here, they're uh, surface mount chips. All right, the next video, uh, we're going to change the board size to fit in the box.